Hey y'all, I'm back. So I was just doing a reading and the um I didn't have enough space to upload the video, so it went upload. But guys, it was very telling. Okay, and I feel like a lot of y'all are um, you think that you're friends with somebody, but you're really not. This person really don't even really like you like that. Like, I'm going to say this. They're more so intimidated by your growth, okay? Um, it looks like they're in a place to where they are um, kind of like stuck and, and you're growing. You're trying new things. You're expanding. You're being gassed. A lot of people are um, showing you um, that, hey, we approve what you got going on. And it's like to them, like, it's like, oh, really? Hmm. 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 I'm getting that energy. Okay. Tell me. Let's see what we can get from the Millennial Oracle. This is the deck that I'm using, guys. The Millennial Oracle deck. Let's see what message we get. Mm -hmm. I'm telling somebody throwing shade, okay? All right. So... It looks like it looks like there is some suspicious behavior going on. Like we got ratchet. Okay, so reason or place being ratchet, behaving stupidly or reckless, nasty, unappealing, and unelegant. Inelegant, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just made up a word. Okay, we got sis. Like, sis. Sis. Okay. This is someone being shady. Something is being hidden. Suspicious, suspect, or untrustworthy. And then we got finesse. Getting something in a slick way. Smoothing things out. Stealing, buttering up, persuading, and charm. So, somebody's trying to finesse you. Okay. I feel like somebody's being real shady. I just said it. I'm telling you, like, I feel like y'all y'all may think that somebody is your friend, but they really not. They're trying to find a way to finesse you right now. Didn't I tell you? I'm t I told y'all. See, y'all are in this energy. We got blessed. See, right time, it looks like y'all been going viral or you're on the internet and you're getting popular online. Um, you got somebody shook. Somebody surprised. Like, what? I didn't even know that, it, that they could do that. So this person kind of like dismissing you. But what it, what the real TT is, what the real he, he, he is, <laughs> that you've been flexing. You've been flexing your muscle. Okay? You've been about yourself. You've been prideful, flashy, arrogant, boasting. And this person up here looking like this. Ratchet. A mess. <laughs> and see... You on fleet. Spirit said it twice. You flexing and you on fleet. <laughs> you feel like you got it going on. You perfect. You flawless. You on point. Right? And this, didn't I tell you they salty? I can't make this up now. I can't make this shit up. They salty. They got a sudden change of mood now. They upset. Bitter. Annoyed. Jealous. Now they about to dismiss you. Now they about to dismiss you. They ain't going to act, act funny with you. 
I'm telling you. I seen it. I seen it. They acting funny. They acting shady. It's something about it. They trying to find a way to finesse you. But I want to see what the finesse is about, though. They going to be trying to reach out to you through text. They about to communicate with you. But they thinking carefully. Maybe you reached out to them, but they taking their time to message back. It's just a little casual interaction. Um, they may be detached, okay? Because they feel like you too bougie. You don't got bougie. Like, they feel like you too snooty or you too, you done leveled up too much, okay? And this person might be younger than you. So, they feel like, well, dang, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they doing it better than me. They look younger than me. Mm -hmm. Told you they been throwing shade. Watch out now. If you been feeling like, and they just seem like they throwing shade. They is. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so they feel like they missing out. Okay, they might have hit a rough, rough patch in their life. They might be a little frustrated at their situation, what they're going through. It might not be easy. They might be going through some type of setback. They're a little annoyed, but they feel like they're missing out. Okay, because you over here, you getting the likes. You over here getting approval. You over here, people telling you to go for it. And you getting the yes, yes. But they might be over here talking about you. Okay, they over here talking about you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you've been glowing up. You've been glowing up, boo boo. You've been getting in the gym. You've been doing what you do. Hey, you've been glowing up. You've been hitting the gym. You've been looking good. Your body look good. You've been working hard on your physical, your mental, your spiritual, whatever it is. You're glowing up. You're evolving past them. Okay. And low key, low key, they feel you're making them feel kind of basic. It just is what it is. Okay. So this person may have ghosted you. Um, there's somebody that I feel like you was close with because we got squad and shaking my head, but y'all not on the same page no more. Okay, y'all ain't even not on the same page no more. They feel like you done bossed up too much for them. They salty about it too. Much. They feel like you're being extra. And so they have, or they plan to cancel you, okay? They're going to say, I, I got my, my life is real. I got real things to do. I ain't got time to be putting on no makeup. I ain't got time. They're going to be hitting you with it. But like I said, they have their own things going on. Life may not be sweet for them. So they may just come out and feel like, you know, you're trying to flex up on them. Like, dang, you trying to flex up on me? Tell me, they send a piss. They talking about you to somebody, okay? They send a piss, spill a tea on you. They didn't be sitting up here telling your business. But we got goals. <laughs> Subtly expressing jealousy. They might be jealous because you're hitting your targets. Whatever you say you're going to do, you've been doing it. But they've been gossiping. Tell me more about this spilling of tea. Oh, shoot. Gosh. That is like literally just like blew out. Spilling of tea. What's going on? Tell me about the spilling of tea. High key and move. Oh, and they got receipts, boo boo. <laughs> they got receipts, boo boo. They got receipts on you. They've been spilling the tea, gossiping about you. Um, high key. They want to let everybody know, really. They want to put it out there, really. This they move to. 
Like, they just kind of like, blah, blah, you know? See, they're not reaching their goals, okay? So, goals and struggle is real. They're not reaching their goals. They really, they want to slay too. But for some reason, they're having a hard time. Um, they may feel like you're doing better than them. And I told you, this feels like a little competition. This is succeeding in something, dominating your competition, on point, amazing job. But they could be having some struggles, okay? They could be having some struggles. And then we have no chill and basic. They feel like you over here living life, but they're over here, their life is pretty basic. Like, they do day-to-day -day things, and you're coming off every time they see you or they see a picture of you, they hear about you. They feel like you, um, you know, like you, you, you out here doing it. Like, you, you doing the most. You ain't turning down. You really out here living. You living like a young person. We got millennial. They like, okay, like, dang, they don't got no chill right now. Like, they I feel like they feel like you just look vibrant and young and free. Wow, they may be in the house just sitting around watching TV. Okay, we got Netflix and chill. They may be on their chill mode. And this is you. <laughs> they got a little sleigh. You know, we got bread coming this late. They got they they got a little something, something. But they they feel like you're doing it way bigger than them. They feel like you out here flexing on them. So it's a it's a little competition. They a little salty about it. Ain't no little salty. They being salty about it. Can you call this person a real friend is the question. Can you call this person a real friend? Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Can you call this person a real friend? Is it that they could just be going through something? Or is it that they just flat out just jealous? What y'all think? Let me know in the comment section below. Ciao for now.